Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on how to change from radians to degrees on a Casio FX CG50. We're going to explore two methods in this video. Firstly, how to change the general angle unit. And secondly, how to temporarily change the angle unit for one-off calculations that are in a different angle unit than what you have set your calculator to. So from the main menu, let's just enter Run Matrix. And you can see at the top here, it displays the angle unit. We've got it currently in radians, which will be important for any of the trigonometric functions uh, that we're using there, sine, cosine, tangent, and so on. The calculator will read the angle that you input into those as being in radians. So let's say that we want to change that to degrees so that the permanent setup on the calculator is degrees. Well, we need to go to the setup menu, shift and setup and then scroll down, we can see the last option on the first page is angle. We've actually got three choices here, degrees, radians, and gradients as well, if you need those. Uh, but we want degrees, so we're just going to press F1, execute, and then you can see up here that the angle unit has been changed to degrees. So all subsequent calculations that involve processing an angle unit will read that angle as being in degrees. Let's change that back. So shift setup, down to angle unit and F2 for radians. Might be worth noting here that if we do use the integration and differentiation features, it is best to have your calculator in radians to calculate those accurately. So I would probably suggest keeping it in radians as standard and then just changing it to two degrees if you've got a lot of calculations involving degrees uh, for yourself to do. Now let's explore the second method. Let's say that the majority of your calculations involve using radians, but you've got a one-off calculation that happens to be in degrees. Well, we can actually keep the calculator in radian mode and assign an individual angle as being in degrees. So let's take sine 45. So that angle is in degrees, but the calculator is currently in radians. Well, if we go to option and then to the second page, press F6, and then we've got an option here for angle, F5. And then you can see we've got the options here, degrees, radians, and gradients. Well, we can assign this angle as being 45 degrees. So we can press F1 to get degrees. Press execute. And here's the sign of 45 degrees, square root two over two, even though the angle unit is in radians. But obviously if we then did a subsequent calculation, unless we used this temporary measure, the calculator would read it as being in radians. So that's an option if you've just got one or two quick calculations to do in an angle unit that the calculator is currently not in. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on The Calculator Guide.